Hey, no, this is my chair, not yours. Hello, creative friends. Welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Julie and I'm a novice sewist working towards making my dream wardrobe a reality. Uh, if I'm a little croaky today, I'm so sorry. I uh, <laughs> just got over being sick and I just got my voice back. So uh, <laughs> that's nice to be able to talk again. Today, I'm gonna be making a last minute holiday dress in 24 hours. Almost. Because we've all been there. Last minute invite, no dress to wear, especially no dress that matches who you feel you're supposed to be today. So I definitely pulled all of this stuff from my stash. I had this pattern already and already printed and I pulled the fabric out of my stash as well. For the top, I'm going to be using this beautiful black rib knit. And for the skirt, I'm going to be using uh, this almost purple maroon jersey uh, knit as well. I think they're gonna go really well together. Uh, I want to do a floor length gown and I also want to do the slit up the side. I'm actually hoping to get slits up both front panels and we'll see how that goes. But the first thing to do is to put the pattern together and cut out my size. I am in between sizes so I am going to size down because I want this to be very form fitting. Let's get the pattern put together and then I will show you all the variations I'm going to be making once the pieces are cut out. It is currently 11.10 a.m. Let's get started. Okay, so I have all my pattern pieces cut out. Uh, if my face looks extremely red, don't worry, I'm fine. Uh, I'm just having a weird uh, chronic illness flare up and it happens. I don't know how to stop it because I don't know what happens. So uh, we're just gonna ignore it and keep going. Um, so I cut the sleeve at three quarter lengths. Uh, beware that this pattern is huge. It's so big. So when you're putting it together, you're gonna need a lot of room. I cut full length skirt options because I want a full skirt with hopefully both slits coming up the front. And I think I'm gonna make them a little higher than what they have them, but uh, we'll see when we get there. So here's the center front and I cut it as deep of a V as they have allowed and the center back uh, with the deep V option in the back as well. They have a bunch of variations for this pattern, like so many. You can even make it uh, a sweet, um, a princess seam tank, sorry, like a, like a thick uh, tank. And so they have it where you can cut the pieces out depending on what sleeve you're gonna have, what bodge you're gonna have, and everything. I'm gonna move over to my mat and add a few inches to the bottoms of these patterns so that the waist is a little lower. I will take you over there and show you exactly how I'm gonna do that. Obviously, I have no I have no ruler, so we are gonna use Taldori because when you have no ruler, obviously you use a whole continent. If you don't get that joke, I'm so sorry. I'll start with the back ones because they're the easiest. They don't have these, um, the front pieces, the front side and the front lining have these like curved bottoms to them. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's got like that kind of edge to it. So I'm gonna make sure that, that it has that edge in case it has a relevance to the pattern, which I'm sure there is and I just can't see it because I don't know what I'm doing. We're gonna be okay. Um, I meant to mention when you're when you're cutting out this pattern, some of the pattern pieces don't quite align properly. But if you just trust the process and go with a "f it will figure it out" attitude, it works in the end. We'll start with the back lining. I'm gonna start at the top. I'm going to add. Uh, I'm going to add four inches just to be on the safe side because I really do want it to sit at a perfect spot in my waist. Oh, hey. I said good boy. That's a cat, not a pillow. Where? If I were tape. Oh, there it is. There's my tape. I found it. Don't be panic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape. Oh, no. And the amount of zip tape. Don't worry, I have more. I have more tape. I came prepared. Okay. I'm just gonna double check these measurements. I'm gonna use my Taldori book and line up the, line it up at an angle because the pattern piece is at an angle. So I'm gonna make sure that the book or ruler, I hope you have a ruler. If not, use a really cool book. It's, for, it's, it's fine, I'm sure. Don't draw on a really cool book. We do not draw on books here. Books are sacred. Anyway, you're gonna line the, the whatever you're using to draw a straight line 
up with the pattern because it's going to have a, sh a bit of an angle to it. So you want them to kind of angle in so that when you sew them together, it'll cinch at the waist. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Now you have an extended pattern piece. I assume, I don't know what I'm doing. I said that already, disclaimer, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just effing around and hoping things work out. That's what we do here. Next, now you're gonna do all of these like this. When you get to um, the, the curved ones, what we're gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use the curve as a guide, as a guide there, and then measure four inches up from that and then tape it down there. So I use it as a tracing and then I'm just gonna measure four inches up. I'm gonna make sure that this piece gets taped right on that line when it crumbles down watch it get higher down to the wire will you let it burn till we almost drown and there you are hopefully a correctly extended pattern piece we'll see what happens i don't know guys all right there we are second extended pattern piece so you're going to do this with all of your bodice pattern pieces by four inches um and i will see you back here when i am done them all Okay, so because I have four pieces I have to cut on a fold um, and I don't want to waste a whole bunch of fabric, I'm going to actually put the folds on the outsides. So I'm gonna do that as I'm gonna fold this into this center line here. Make sure that that's even. I want it to land. Um, this rib has this beautiful texture to it and there's like this indent between the ribs between the the rib this like line and I'm gonna make sure that a, that, the, that an edge falls on that um, so that I it's I can track it all the way down and make sure it's a straight it's straight I hope that made sense because I am starting to doubt that that made sense so I can see where the fold in the fabric was because it's kept it here so I'm just gonna fold that in and see where we're sitting. Are you helping? Oh, oh, best kitty. Because the bodice is a rib pattern, I made sure that um, all the gray lines matched up very, very carefully. I'm still aware that I'm probably gonna mess it up because that stuff's hard. But I have the two fold lines, one on either side, in case that, uh, so the seam is in the middle. So it's kind of folded in like you like uh, like window shutters, and then I put the uh, back and front sides in next to it, so that I was just maximizing as much space as possible. I'm going to cut this here with scissors, so that this is all on one sheet by itself. I'm gonna move this up, and I'm gonna slide the seam over a bit, so I'm gonna have the seam more the fold uh, middle more here than straight down the window, straight down, so it would kind of be like this right so there's like lots on this side and just a little bit on this side so that i can put one of these on the fold here one of these on the fold on that side and then have enough room on one side to put the sleeve as well that way i save all of that other fabric for something else i hope that makes sense I have the first round cut out now, so that's all over here. And now what I've done is the seam is actually here. Um, there's a fold there, and there's a fold here. So I have this little piece here that's on a fold, and then this is bigger to fit the sleeve as well as the other fold. Um, I hope that makes sense. I'm going to cut this one out first because this is the front. And because it's on a rib, I have lined it up very carefully that I'm worried if I start moving stuff over here that's gonna mess with my line here. So I'm just gonna line this one up and cut it now and get it over with. And then if I mess it up, I still have tons of fabric to work with. So let's see how that works. I don't wanna ask why, wanna give this a try with you. And this you wanna go follow, I won't let you go alone. Cause it's a big 
it's slightly off, but you know what? I'm not mad at it. It's, it is close enough. Okay, so it goes all the way down to here, which is close. With the seam allowance, it should be my natural waist. This is definitely more delicate fabric than I thought it was going to be. It's very, very thin and delicate, so I'm hoping that the lining will fix that. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Uh, next, it is time to cut out the skirt out of my maroon fabric. So I'm going to lay the pieces out. That's a lot easier. Um, they've got... Uh, they've got the center front and the center back on a fold, and then the sides are um, cut mirrored pieces. So I'm going to do the fold first for sure, and then do the um, mirrored pieces, and hope everything works out. Okay, so unfortunately, um, my long skirt does not quite fit onto my fabric. Hmm. Okay, so I've angled the camera a bit better so you can see. So this piece is the uh, center panels. So I'm gonna put this one on a fold right here. So there's a fold here, and now this is on the fold. So I'm going to put it on a fold here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it and lay it here because it will fit on the opposite side of what was here, like where the where the the two skinny pieces will fit together here as like as like a puzzle piece almost. And then the center of the fold is here. Uh, so I folded my fabric instead of vertically, I folded it horizontally. Uh, and because it's um, a knit fabric, I'm not too worried about it. Um, if it were any other fabric, we might have a problem. Um, but this worked really well for Kate's dress that I made earlier. So I'm going to utilize it again. So then I fold it in the edge here a little bit further over because the center is here. And then there's a fold there so that this piece can be two pieces mirrored. And then I'll put pockets on either side. So it's a little, it's, it's a little bit of finagling, but we got it and hopefully it will turn out really well. So I'm going to get these cut out and then, uh, We'll see where we stand. It is literally 8.30 the next morning a.m. Uh, the sun isn't even out yet. I got all my pattern pieces cut yesterday um, and got really sick in the middle of it and needed to take like a three hour nap, which threw off my whole day. <laughs> and so uh, now I have two and a half hours to sew, completely sew this dress and I'm panicking. So we're just gonna jump into it. I've never done princess seams before, but that's where we're gonna start is on the bodice sewing the princess seams together. and. We're gonna hope that it all turns out good. Oh, beans! This is beans. I'm in her chair because apparently I don't get a chair anymore. Oh, and we've also got a little black smush ball. Oh, it's smush ball. I always have an an audience when I uh when I film, which is nice. At least the rib is very easy to tell which ways which ways which um because it's got sort of this texture on the back and this texture on the front so it's like so easy we're gonna start with this side actually you know what no i'm gonna start with the back pieces that way i get some practice that isn't on the front pieces i'm gonna put on some music and i'm gonna get to sewing these uh pattern pieces i'll be putting them together here so you'll kind of get to see what sort of is happening here and then i'll sew them together here and hopefully you can see everything that's happening you what's wrong am i in your chair oh i know i know terrible for being in your chair here's the 
back. It actually looks really good. It turned out it turned out really good. I'm very happy about it. It looks so pretty. Are you quite done? This is my chair. She's trying to kick me out of the chair. She's pushing her butt between me and the chair. This is my chair. I don't have time for your shenanigans. Do you need to be involved? Really? Yes, ma'am, can I help you? I have two hours to finish this dress. I need you to go, please. Go, 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 get your bum, get your bum. Here we go, let's see how it looks. Ooh. Here we go, got the front. Whoops, had that backwards. <laughs> got the front princess seams done. It's gonna look so cool. Okay, now I'm gonna take a coffee break because I have yet to have my cup of coffee this morning and that is never conducive to a productive work environment. I'll be back. I've got coffee. Time to get started because I have an hour and 45 minutes to finish this dress. You guys, I don't know if I'm gonna do it. Well, better get back to it. Okay, so um, I am now going to pin the shoulders together and sew the shoulder seams. That is what's next. So this is the back. No, that's the front. This is the back. Then I'm gonna iron my seams. Uh, I'm gonna do that as combo as possible. So instead of like sewing every seam as I do it, I'm gonna do everything I can and then sew everything that I can, which I'd like to do in general because I'm lazy, but uh, more so now because I'm on a time constraint, so. Turns out I'm repeating the shoulder seam step on the lining as well, which totally makes sense. And then I'm gonna iron everything and be back. Um, if you're using a ribbed, uh, I've never used ribbed before, or any sort of new fabric, maybe just uh, iron a test swatch to test your uh, your heat, especially if you're on a time crunch, because I almost burned my uh, my ribbed fabric, and I didn't even have it up very high, so <laughs> be very, very careful. Um, okay, so I've got uh, these all sewn together. The next is going to be the neckline. I do want a very defined V shape instead of like a scoop. So I'm going to drop my needle and pivot at both um, front and back Vs. And then I'll be back to show you what, 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 what we're gonna do after that. Cause we're gonna cut notches and then fold it. Okay, the neckline is sewed. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the tiniest notch. Because this fabric is already fraying, I'm gonna make the teeniest notches in the in the corner, not nearly as deep as I would make them if I were sewing with a different fabric. Just enough to make the turn really clean. Moment of truth. Spend the next hour just trying to figure out how to flip it. There we go. I got there. I'm gonna have to trim it just a bit on the front V because it's just pinching a little bit. So I'm gonna just trim it just a teeny tiny, teeniest little bit because like I said, I do not want any sort of fraying at all. Pretty. Uh, Y'all can't see. I'll put a picture here, but I am literally being haunted. I'm being judged and stared over because I'm in her chair. It's my chair. That doesn't matter. Okay, next is the sleeves. I we are we are at 10:06. Uh, I'm almost done the bodice, and then it's the skirt. But because I want two slits, I'm gonna have a bunch of hemming to do. So I need to I need to get going. I need to get going. So now we're gonna stitch the side seam shut. So we're gonna um, separate the bodice, the the outer and the lining, and side sides. Uh, <laughs> words are hard. So up the side seams on both of those separately. There, the sides are seamed up. Now um, I'm going to add the, the, I'm gonna add the sleeves and then I'm going to put it on and measure where I want the waist to be. We are at 1026 and I just, life man, it happens. Should I use pins to keep it together? Yes, am I gonna use it? No, I don't have time for that. Uh, is it probably gonna bite me in the butt? Maybe. Good thing I checked, man. Almost sold that seam backwards. I would have cried. Have you made your mind yet? Have you got your heart set? I don't wanna jump half-hearted. 
We're gonna match up the center notch of the shoulder with the shoulder seam. So single notch should be towards the front and double notch towards the back. Nice. Okay. I just had to have someone come in and change my alarm, my fire alarm, because my fire alarm wasn't working. Um, and we rent, so somebody had to come in and change it for us. Um, so it is now 10.47, and I am just finishing. I'm just starting on the second sleeve sewing. So, uh, ooh, I don't think we're going to make it. Um, but we'll be close. We'll at least be a few hours off. Had I not had to take that, that break yesterday, we would have been fine. Like, 100% we would have gotten this done, no problem. But, you know, life happens. I don't want to finish where we started. Like the river flowing, tell me where we're going Take me to a place that's brand new Every second growing, time feels like it's slowing With you And if you wanna go, follow Okay, the front is done, the sleeves are done, they look great Here's the front And here's the back uh, I'm going to try it on the top And I'll be back so here's the top. Uh, it's actually exactly where I want it. Uh, the shoulder sleeves are going to need a little trimming here just because they're kind of bulky here. So I'm definitely going to try and trim that sh trim the shoulder seam. And then, yeah, here's the back. And I even want that low in the back. I almost want the dress to start at my, like, low back. So I'm hoping that the, the weight of the dress will pull it down a smidge on both sides. And, but it's actually with the with the lining it's very durable like it doesn't feel as flimsy as it did when it was just one piece so that is awesome i love these princess seams they're so stunning so it is currently 1104 six minutes away from my from my deadline and all i've gotten done is the top but uh i'm not mad at it i had a few interruptions and i shouldn't it should not take me much longer so i didn't go too far over okay i'm gonna finish the uh sleeve hem and then move on to the skirt Please ignore the giant mess i am incapable of cleaning things up when i'm in the middle of a project oh drives that crazy my bad Okay, so I have, I have my front here. How am I gonna have pockets? There's a pocket option. Okay, so first I'm gonna sew the back seam together because I forgot that I couldn't cut this on the fold. I'm being very careful to make sure that the fold pieces are the ones I'm sewing together. Um, so I'm just gonna run do that quickly. It would not be me if I didn't have to pull out the seam ripper. So uh, it is 11.30 and uh, I'm seam ripping for the first time because I accidentally did not check which way the skirts were supposed to go because I have sun damage on one of the sides. I'm not sure if that's a, there it is. I'm not sure if that's a me problem or a them problem. So this has to be on the inside and I was sewing it on the outside. So I'm going to seam rip that and then fix it and uh, then I'll get back to the skirts. It has pointy. What are you doing? I was gonna put in pockets, but I think that because the pockets are gonna have to go down the princess seams in the center, that I don't want that bulk here. I want it to fall very nicely in waterfally. So I'm not gonna put in pockets. But you totally get if you wanna put in pockets. You live your best life. Okay, where do I want the seam to be? The dress will probably start like here. And I think I want the seam like here. I want it fairly high up. I think I'm gonna go a little risky and put it right there on both sides. Okay. Okay, there. I have both sides pinned up to where I want the slit to be. I'm gonna sew them together and then I'm gonna sew the back on and then I'm gonna sew the whole thing together because I want to see the dress completely together before I hem it and before I finish the slits just so that I know that that's exactly where I'm wanting them. So I'm gonna go finish these sides and then attach the back to the back and then I'll try it on and we'll see how we feel. Or no, no. First then we have to attach it to the, we have to attach it to the dress. We'll attach it to the dress. We're doing great. We're doing a good job here. It's going to sit probably about here. 
And then the slits are going to be here. Actually, I might want them up a bit higher. I think I kind of want them like here. We'll have to see when the dress is all put together where it falls and how it feels. So I'm going to pin the back to the side seams and sew that together. All right, the skirt is all sewn together. Now I just have to figure out which way is the front. Okay, this is the front, which means that this needs to be turned this way. Um, and then I have to figure out which way the front is. Okay, so like this, this is how it has to go in. This always gets me. Things like this, my brain just so struggles with processing. Oh, yeah, it is, okay, oops. This is the back, this is the front. <laughs> I'll figure it out eventually. I'm going to sew it just a little higher than the hemline here and trim the excess because I do want it um, about an inch higher than my waist was. Uh, and so I'm just going to pin it just a little, about an inch, just so it's a little bit higher. Um, then I'm going to go a little bit less uh, in the back so that it hangs down a little lower in the back. Okay, there we go. We have the skirt, the bodice pinned onto the skirt, and now I'm just going to sew around here and try it on and see where we are. I got the waist stitched uh, together and now I'm just gonna try it on and make sure that everything is where it needs to be before I come back. It is 12.37, so I'm about an hour and 20 minutes out, but she is done. And it turned out so nice. I know you can't uh, see it, so I'm gonna put some full body clips right here. I absolutely love how this dress turned out. I ended up not hemming it at all or hemming the slits and I really like the effect of that. Uh, it's a knit so it wasn't fraying at all. It stayed together so well and it just, oh, it's so stunning. Um, definitely could have used Roth after two babies and, uh, and some weight loss. The girls need a little help but I couldn't find one in short notice so uh, forgive my boobs, but um, yeah, this dress is so gorgeous and I'm so, I'm so happy with it. Um, it was so cold out in the Alberta winter, but uh, we braved it and it just uh, came out, it came together so well. Uh, so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.